Okay, how do you feel on today's patch and what are your overall thoughts of the 60 day update or work from Arrowhead? Goodness gracious, that's a that's a good question and a loaded question, I'd like to say. Um, yeah. uh, uh, Rental Pegram, are you ready to answer? Do you need a second? Because I'm more I than happy to let there, you yeah. jump in. So uh, I am a big fan of the overall changes for the CC Day patch. I think they, the company um, was put under a lot of pressure and for them to take Agreed. stock and, and take a lot of time to sit back and address the concerns of the community and to actually put all that effort and work in to do all those changes and and put out the questionnaires to the people on their Discord channel and to really listen to everyone and really come through with positive changes speaks a lot to their dedication and their love for this game. So I think it's really, really great. And let's see, what was the other part of that question? Oh, uh, yep. What, what, how do we feel about today's patch? Yeah. Uh, I played it for about an hour earlier and I love it. I think it really nails it. Um, the changes to the weapons, we'll, we'll get into the, the weapons later, but the changes, they feel a lot better, especially the energy weapons, how they change not only the fire modes, but um, the speed of the projectiles. They give them all a distinct feel to them. So it's very positive. I don't know if how I can top that perfectly, but I'll say this. <clears throat> My favorite thing about the patch is the Senator now having uh, <laughs> upgraded mm. bullets. <laughs> yes, sir. As a democracy officer, I run it with, a, with a, of course, the democracy officer armor all the time. And uh, being able to actually empty a clip or two and take out a charger just makes me so happy inside. I'll say that. But mm. I'm also very excited because um, the way they comp compressed all of that content to 32 minutes, I was actually going through editing it, Rental Penguin, on a mm -hmm. off, off the note of more content creation not just streaming and playing the game on the technical side i was amazed how they fit in so much in such a short 32 minutes because i know some patches some for some games could be 45 to an hour of all the content i love how they showed everything individually actually working and actually you know seeing it actually be this is how we want it to be and that's what i think a lot of us have asked we want hell we want hell divers we want arrowhead to show what we want actually working we don't want them to say that they're actually going to do it. We want them to s actually see it working. So I think that's a big thing for me is uh, right, being able to like see that. that. Level, all the patch notes and like this number changed to this number. That's cool, but I want to see it. <laughs> yeah, which th that's that's huge. And Conco, did you want to add anything to that, bro? I know you asked the question, yeah. but. Yeah, no, that's fine. No, nothing to add at the moment. We got a couple more questions rolling. Going through here. So Dewey, we got we got a question from Dewey. Welcome in on YouTube. Um, a lot of hell divers have been interested in digging trenches lately. What what do we have to say on this? Oh, well, this is what I want to say. You can actually hide behind cover and not get shot by an automaton uh, stray weapon floating through a rock. What? That's, a, that's not normal, right? <laughs> I'm. It, it's so funny because. That's one reason I didn't fight automatons going into another question I had planned was uh, that. But I'll say this. Um, I'm happy that we can now behind go behind impenetrable cover as General Brash teaches us. That's and right, right. yeah, and Red the Penguin, you want to add anything about digging trenches? <laughs> uh, I did discover that with the generous application of auto cannon ammunition, you can shoot a straight line into the ground and make a little depression that you can hide in. Mm. But honestly, how often are you going to sit still in one spot for a firefight? You're moving. You got to uh, be dynamic in your environment. So if you're staying still, it's only for a second to maybe reload your spear or get that perfect headshot on something. But you better keep moving because the enemy is not going to stop coming towards you, whether they be bug or bot. Yeah, very true. It, it is hard to st stay in one place. I totally agree with that, hundred percent. Yeah, Conco, Conco's killing with these questions. Let's go. I love it. So, um, I feel like the patches we recently saw are a change into the right direction, but nothing has really been added. To the game besides war bonds what would you like to see in hell divers in the future rental penguin help you throw us off on this one sure sure so one thing that i would like to see added whether it be in a war bond or maybe just its own patch in the future is mm. the addition to some sort of vehicle um, yes we see the it. ruins of them on the maps but we want to drive them around 
Hmm. I totally agree with that. And, and we've seen the big mechs from Helldivers 1. Um, yes. be, yeah, being chilling, you know, which is another thing to talk about too. That... And I think the lead time of Arrowhead Studios is slow, even though, because they had to really focus on all these issues that they had. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm... Man, I... I want to bounce a couple things, but I, th I want to make sure we keep on rolling through questions. But the only thing I want to add is this new DSS, guys. I want to hope that it's bringing in the clan system, bringing in clan system stratagems, bringing in all these cool things. But at the same time, I want to be realistic and say they've been working their butts off on all these patches and getting the game fixed. I'm wondering what new content they've cooked for us while dynamically doing at the same time, which since being a small studio, my expectations honestly are a little low just because I want to be realistic. But that that I want to leave myself to be excited when they do bring new things in. So, hey, I, I want to have hope. So I want that clan system. I want the clan stratagems. I want you to be able to deploy and use those and have fun, a, a more long-term progression, being able to spend it on all types of stuff, your samples, um, your requisition slips that we all have in abundance, obviously, and honestly. Um, That's a good point you bring up about it being a small yeah. studio. People forget that. It's like maybe 150 employees compared to like the larger game studios that have hundreds, maybe even mm -hmm. a thousand plus members. And this is a very small team and they're really working their butts off. Yeah. Yeah, so Raph the Reaper over on YouTube said, for me, um, is how the story will move from this point. We need something new, I believe. They said about newer faction or whatnot, and that's under development and let's see. And I think that's a good thing to talk about. Is the coming Illuminate? Are they coming or are they not? Are they going to actually bring them on what some people say of leaked content? Are they going to bring them on the Liberty Day? Or what I hope in terms of a game progression system, they hold them off for a very specific point where the game needs a solid new content pickup. Because I believe, like, even if they do bring another monthly Warbone in, that'd be good. But I I'm hoping for something special on Liberty Day. And I'm okay if that's the DSS being completed too. But that's up for discussion, I think, up for debate, because some others might want to see additional content. Right. It seems that every update that comes along, every event in the ongoing campaign, there's always the, the, the solid core people that will jump up and say, it's the Illuminates. They're coming. And it's like, yeah, but you always say that. But the thing about Crying Wolf is eventually it is a wolf, right? So mm -hmm. I think that they are going to be on the way. We just don't know when. Yeah, and, and and the the odd little blue laser being shot in places, you know, you never know. You never know. Right. I'm gonna be butchering that. Yeah. Um. Said, am I an idiot for using the eruptor because it's literally a bolt action <laughs> bolter? <laughs> Not familiar with the bolter? That's a weapon from the Warhammer 40k uh, setting. I love the eruptor. I do. But once the crossbow got one handed, y'all, just saying. Right. If you um, can, ha I don't think the, you're yeah. idiot using it. I think it's a great weapon. It's just very situational. Scouse. It's Scousely Mini. Scouse, Scousely. Scousely Mini. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. And then Dewey came in and asked another question as well. What are your thoughts on flying vehicles like a mech with retracting legs that can be flown like a VTOL aircraft? Ooh. I feel like they add that in though their engine would start having issues. Right. We got to think about mm. the limitations of their in-game engine and what they're able to do with it. Still and a good question, also, though. So, yeah, the um, the balance aspect of that, like you could be fine doing that with the bots because they can shoot you down. But what can the bugs do? They have maybe what? Two range units and one of them is a little tiny acid spitter. So mm. You could just hover there and just shoot them. It's not it's not fun. It's not engaging. It's not balanced. So, yeah. I mean, this is the other thing that I've talked to a couple of my community. Um, not sure if you've had this, have seen this yet, but there's been some concept stratagems some concept support type stratagems that you can say, example, like in Warzone or some other Call of Duty type games, you can call in like a UAV or some type of aerial aircraft and you get in a location, you know, you won't be attacked and your team's defending you and you literally call in air support and you're able to control it from the, you know, uh, being on the field and you're able to actually, you know, sh target exactly where you want it to go. Um, I know that would be something cool. I'm just not sure on the aircraft side if actually piloting would be realistic unless they do bring in something like space battles. Like some people have 
make concepts up on YouTube and stories where you actually launch as like an Eagle One pilot and you go in and you find an automaton fleet. And um, then the concept of boarding comes in and when an automaton like ship can like board an actual super destroyer, that, uh, that whole dynamic would be awesome. But I think it's a little far away until they I can actually see if, of actually realistically implementing something like that. Um, yeah, love that question, that, though, Dewey. That could be its own standalone game, too. That could be like, uh, he, like literally <laughs> mobile game or or something else. But yeah. Yeah, and uh, Susalimini asked, I think I got it. Also, the revolver now pins heavy armor. It has heavy AP. It does. And I am so happy about that because I am a daily, weekly, hourly senator pistol user all the time as democracy officer. I mean, you have to use a senator. I'm a democracy officer. Come on. So I'm very happy about that. Um, Let's think about if there's any other sidearm changes on those weapons. I was going to do a quick check. Did anybody see any sidearm changes? I believe... I think, I think I got one. Yeah. Which yeah. one? The verdict. The one oh, with the... That was the other one. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. That was the other one. The verdict was the other one. Yep. Um. So that, uh, I think, three... It says it's, it's from two to three, so it goes... Now it's medium penetration on the verdict. So it'll punch through... Uh, yep. Devastator armor and it'll punch through the hive guard with their front plates that they have. Yep, exactly. Like I think the verdict took the place of the senator, and now the senator is in a in another realm. Let's call it because it's the only weapon, primary or support that you can bring that is not a stratum that is actually heavy penetrating armor. Um, yeah, it's increased. The, its AP was increased from two to three on the verdict. Projectile durable damage increased from thirteen to thirty-two. Stagger strength increased from thirteen to fifteen. Very cool. I, I'm just curious how much that will change. Maybe the durability damage. You'll notice that change. An AP increased from two to three. That's just. I don't know. <clears throat> um. And oh, this was another important one. The stem pistol. I know um, Sarah Kelly didn't mention this because we only had time for so many, but um, it actually, you can actually shoot and hit other held divers easily, more easy, because it has the decreased spread from 30 to five, which is huge. Because I noticed it's like shooting a Nerf gun. It goes in the left or right direction, doesn't go through the center. So I'm mm-hmm. glad they fixed that. <laughs> and its muzzle velocity got increased from 80 to 200. So that's what, 120 yeah. increase, which is pretty solid. Pretty solid. More than double that, yeah. So, so you can actually aim and shoot your teammate if they're running away from you, so. Yeah, Sussalmini said, Revolver Supremacy. Uh, we, I believe it is. We, yes? <laughs> he's, not, he's not Italian, he's from Liverpool. No. <laughs> Liverpool, okay, so yes, there it's you go. A, a Scouse, you can just call him Scouse, I think. That's oh, correct. Scouse, is that is that correct? That, that's what they call people from Liverpool, if I'm not mistaken. A oh, Scouse. I See, I'm learning yeah. things. Okay, and then Rental Penguin, do you want to tell us about the throwing knives before we take another question here? Oh. Yes, they've increased the number of throwing knives you can carry from 8 to 20. So for all those five people that are using throwing knives, you're very happy right now. You're good. You're set. You're set. And then, of course, the um, recoilless and auto cannon got some new functions, which is programmable ammo. We'll be checking that out today. I'm very excited. <laughs> I have a question. Welcome in, QC. How is everyone doing? Uh, the programmable ammunition, is that something that we're going to have to uh, program before the drop, you think? I can answer this, actually. Yep. Um, when you go to pull out your weapon and you know how you hold down the button, it lets you change the fire rates and turn on and off flashlights and that kind of thing. It's on the other side of the icon of the weapon, and you choose um, if you want HE or AP rounds or the um, recoilless and also frag or normal on uh, the autocannon. So you can do it on the fly. That'll be exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's it looks cool. The only thing for me that I thought about, and you guys, of course, can enter your opinions in chat and I'll showcase, I'll feature them on my channel, um, was the recoilless rifle programmable ammo looks cool. I just don't know how often I'm going to use it when I have a crossbow that has good explosive radius so True. i'm just not sure how much i'm gonna use it unless you're talking about the auto cannon the flak yeah that looks good mm-hmm. 
there have been some times when I've had a recoil list and thought, I could really go for something that would take out that cluster of enemies right there, but my stratagems are on cooldown, and I don't mm -hmm. have any explosions, so. Yeah. And if you shoot the regular round, it takes out one, maybe two. I shot one earlier, I pulled the trigger on a squad of bugs, and I got five or six. Oh. I was like, whoa, that's, that's really good. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I also wanted to mention this. Dewey had another question of rebuttal about the trench. While trenches are fun, how would you feel about being able to dig shallow tunnel system in more systems in more open terrain? Um, I just hope no one brought the mortar stratagem with them on this mission when you're digging tunnels. Um, but I mean, the concept would be interesting depend depending on how fast you can. Cause now we're, I think we're f turning into deep rock now where you can like literally start making tunnel systems under the earth. So you might as well just yell rock and stone and for managed democracy at that point, which there rock is a video stone. out there. Yeah, there's a video on YouTube of uh, deep rock galactic like fan made animation with held Irish, which is pretty, pretty funny, pretty funny. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh oh, so Dewey got a good question for us, Frento. I'll let you lead this one. Would you prefer melee weapons or dual wield features for pistols and light SMGs? That's a good question. Uh, mm -hmm. People have been asking for melee weapons for a while, like a sword or, or something like that. Um, I think a melee weapon could be fun, but very, very niche. And it mm -hmm. puts you into a lot of danger. Um, I would love to have dual pistols or dual um, submachine guns as like a way to just be stylish on the field. You'd have to get like yes. increased ammo because those will just eat up all your bullets. It, it would be pretty cool. And having the uh, dual uh, senators like General Brash in the animated video. Not sure if anyone yes. has seen that. Yes. All I can say is yes. It looks <laughs> it looks awesome. That'd be freaking amazing. Um, I think we're getting close to the end of the Q&A time. Um, I'm going to check and see if we have any other questions make sure i think dewey asked a question earlier let me see if we can grab this one real quick okay many divers think there is potential for an enemy human faction while people think there will be chaos divers do you think there is potential for space marauders and sympathizers to other factions i am going to say this about the chaos divers now that there has been conversation about them not being a toxic community in a lot of groups I am currently in, in the democracy officer circles. And we still don't approve of their name nor their group, but we cannot deny that some of them are good people. So with that being said, enemy factions, human factions, I don't see why they couldn't do that in a content perspective of wanting to bring in, for example, some rebels, you know, um, that could be helping in being um, sympathizers, like Dewey mentioned. Um, it, it, if that does happen, we will have to, uh, of course, defeat them and defend Super Earth at all costs. So that would be interesting, though, if that does happen. I won't lie. That is an interesting um, concept, but you got to wonder, like, in the setting, how would that work? It seems like Super Earth has a stranglehold on literally everything. Mm -hmm. I mean that in the nicest way possible, officers, if you're listening. Um, there's there's no uh, FTL travel without them. They have all the infrastructure. Um, yep, everything sure is, is controlled by Super Earth. So how would these individuals get around? How would they survive? You know, those questions get raised and there's no good answers yet unless they really come up with a good reason that they would exist yeah and that that, that, that it can get hard um when you talk about those couple of things because some chaos divers th um, do believe that they're doing something right they're doing something for a good cause and um, as a democracy officer unfortunately i cannot say that they are so <laughs> otherwise i will be reprimanded by my title so don't want to be losing my democracy officer title worked very hard for that in uh, my enlistment training so very important and um <laughs> scouse 
mentioned i want to be able to wield a shield and spade or dual spades so dual knives maybe a double-ended sword we're getting into like kind of a star wars territory now like okay very very nice very nice um thinking like an energy sword like the kind that the bots have like or our brothers blade. our space marine brothers you know yeah 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 a power <laughs> sword just give me a power sword yes <laughs> give me a thunder hammer and helldivers too and i will yeah, yeah, yeah. i will spend all of my samples requisitions clips that slips i'll spend two thousand super credits i'll do it i'll farm it and i'll get it i'll, I'll do it yeah. is that too much to ask for probably and then um scouts lamini mentioned Di chaos divers refuse to fight no um and here's my quality control officer everybody he's his official response intel reports that they still fight they just have a different goal yes there are current reports that they do go against whatever the major order is but with a couple of my sources i have a couple more ambassadors because they're people that have been misled and we want to lead them back into the light of course and a couple of my ambassadors are in there and they're aware that they actually are helping the current major order which is good because they also do want the dss whether whether they want to use it but of course we want to use it for super earth and defend our planets that we currently have and the expansion as we expand for all of our citizens um that's a uh, info right there um here we go Scott Slimini mentioned Rental Penguin. Do you want to read this one? I want to make sure I'm leaving the stage for you too. Uh, sure. They said uh, Marauders seem like a good idea and have a PvP side too and sabotage Super Earth forces while they attempt objectives. Whoever complete missions or wipes the enemy, re enemy reinforcements wins. Mm. AI enemies like bugs and bots would still heavily be involved. Mm. Um, the problem with that is that it opens up the door to something that they, the developers have said that they don't want to include, which is pvp yeah. content so mm -hmm. once you introduce pvp content you've got to rebalance all the weapons yes for other hell divers versus the ai enemies and that's just a whole rigmarole that i'm sure the small team can't tackle right now and never want to all they're doing with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no joke and and and, and scouts mentioned now, now saying it feels more mad than it actually sounds yeah yeah and, and i mean like if they did bring in a rebel faction and they were ai type enemies with just liberators and you had to go in and do like a 12 or 15 minute mission of like hunting down these rebels like that would be interesting but again i would want to see the point of it like i would be more interested in a capture mission than an exterminate mission of rebels personally because that would be a cooler mission to actually apprehend rebels and then send them to re-education camps if i might say that so right options kind of cool too options. but also like fighting them like it's a, it's a bunch of humans that's not interesting or fun fighting swarms of bugs or hordes of robots that's interesting and fun yeah, so, yeah. that is true that is true and like this brings up another thing too how many of you would be interested in a horde system in this game because we have one that's like a defense mission when we're defending all the walls from the ongoing enemies but i know space marines too another um so another fun game out there is implementing that soon in their dlc path if there was one for super earth in hell divers 2 that you could go to say go to super earth and you got to train and do waves upon waves and whatever level you reached you would get commended be pretty cool it would be pretty cool. Be nice, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and as Officer Kanko, him and I have already talked about this, but give me a horde mission now to exterminate more of in, in the enemies of liberty. Indeed. Yeah, it, it, it would be definitely be cool. Definitely be cool. But if there's, I don't see any more questions. I think we need to actually get in and play in the game, enjoy the new patch. Renal Penguin, did you want to add anything before we close this video segment? To uh, go on to Super fun? Earth for managed democracy so stay vigilant rangers stay ready and stay steady thank you rangers and hell divers for choosing us to be your super earth update network and we want you to join us tuesday and thursday nights at 8 p.m cst for drops wherever super earth requires our discord link is below and we would like to enlist you with our rangers of super earth special forces dive safe and see you in the next news video Best of the best. Live up to your name.